We're near the center of the Risha structure, or Eye of the Sahara, by a large whitish spot, likely a silted formation. We don't know the depth yet. We know we dug about two meters a year and a half ago to reach a rocky bottom. We didn't reach the base. These are likely silt deposits that settled over millennia on the water's surface, which sometimes reaches 30 centimeters here. A lake forms, but then dries up, leaving a clay cracked crust. David Stig Hansen suggested this round spot is from a small meteorite, maybe a few meters, that hit the Risha structure years ago, removing part of the ring. We're on a ring formation, an elevation, and at this spot, the elevation is gone. If a meteorite hit here, it might have removed this ridge, creating a crater. Over time, this crater filled in, and hopefully we'll test this idea someday. We walked around, hoping to find impact traces and ejected masses, but found no clear signs of displaced soil. Instead, we found strange colonies or crystals coating sandstone rocks like corals. We want to know if this is inorganic, formation or organic, just fossilized, or some strange organic matter. And the second strange stone we found on the other side of this crater, on the sandstone surface, is red, like spilled paint, a few millimeters thick. It's likely from the same category, just with a different chemical composition or organisms. They are mostly on the crater's edge, meaning their habitat is the boundary between moisture and land. Well, it's one more piece of information. I'd like to come back with a ground-penetrating radar to take a profile. We noticed a row of stones laid in a straight line. Maybe someone thought of this idea, marked their path, and placed stones before or after passing. If the bottom is parabolic, there's a high chance it's an impact crater. But if the bottom is tricky and uneven, like the mountains, maybe it's weathering remnants. In any case, it's intriguing. We'll continue to explore.